The purpose for the Francis Tuttle Food Drive is to aid students that may need just a little bit of help with groceries or diapers or baby items and as we move into the holidays it seems like at that time of year when it starts getting colder the needs get greater and so we will be accepting food from now until January or February because we always have needs. The items can be donated at any time. Um, a lot of times I will just get a phone call because we have a key that we keep the pantry locked and I will get a phone call and meet someone here to drop the food or it can be dropped in my office, I'm in CPC. Um, any of our advisors have keys to get into this and so they just anybody through CPC can tell you where to donate the food. There really is no deadline because we will be collecting food all for many, many months. If someone is in need or you know someone who's in need, contact any of the advisors in CPC. They all can uh, bring you down to the pantry and, and have you take a look. We just, we don't want anybody to go without. We have so much and we've been so blessed that please don't hesitate. I know sometimes it, it's, it might be a little bit difficult, but just contact your advisor or if you know someone who needs something and they are afraid to ask, go ahead and contact an advisor or, or come with them and contact an advisor and uh, we'll help you out in any way that we can. Hi, my name is Mrs. Smith and welcome to the Medical Office Technology Program here at Francis Tuttle. We have a two-teacher program here, uh, myself and Ms. Spellagene, which is next door. Our program offers uh, two different career majors, the Administrative Medical Office Assistant and Medical Coding and Billing Specialist. Each of these programs are approximately 10 months for full-time students. For those that are in high school or part-time, it takes approximately 20 months. We are in the process of um, adding a new certificate for high school students to complete, which would take them a little over a year, so that is another opportunity. Typical jobs uh, that you could use this certificate in would be working at a hospital, a medical office, or a dentist office. Uh, Typical salaries could start anywhere from $8 to $14 per hour, depending on the type of job you get. So are you a first year or a second year student? A second year student. So what do you like most about this program? Um, I like that the program is a self-paced program, which, you know, you got to stay on contract to do your hours and everything. And it's good preparation for college to discipline yourself to do your work and stay on track. Are you a first year or a second year student? This is my first year. I will finish in about 10 months. Well, my complete my course in 10 months. Uh, what made you want to be in this program? I, am, I was laid off due to workforce reduction and wanted an education to do something that I would be able to work a Monday through Friday. I've always worked retail nights, weekends, holidays, so I wanted something different. And I came out and talked to uh, Jennifer over in uh, the administrative building, and she hooked me up. What do you like most about this program? That it is self-paced. You work at your own pace and uh, if you have problems in a certain area you can take it a little slower there. And areas that go a little quicker for you, you can pick it up and make up that time.
This is a project called uh, Rockwell 2010 and we're building a new business and information office building or uh, training building. We're also building a culinary uh, institute which is uh, our culinary program uh, and then we're building a new uh, ITS uh, office facility for all of our internal computer systems and the staffing there. The uh, culinary, we, we currently have a culinary program, at, at, but this will enlarge it quite a lot. Uh, and it's, uh, it's scheduled to be completed. The biz building, or the business and information, is supposed to be completed in uh, December of this year. And that's the large building you're seeing there on the southwest corner. The, uh, the rest of it is culinary, and it's, uh, its completion date is going to be January of 2012. Uh, that's when we'll first start enrolling students in that in that facility. Uh, the benefit to the students currently in the uh, culinary arts, uh, I think I have my numbers correct and you can verify this, uh, we currently have 80 uh, full-time students but there's a backlog of over 200 students and so this facility when it's full fully staffed uh, will hold about 240 students so We'll be able to, to work off that backlog and get a lot more, a lot more uh, students through the program. So the other thing that we think is going to be a great thing for the community on part of the culinary is a restaurant, and it'll be open some during the day, but it'll also be open in the evenings, two or three nights a week. And we're not sure when that is. The new chef director and uh, and the the uh, leadership team will probably decide how often that's open. But it'll be uh, and it'll be totally run and operated by the students themselves.